Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very unusual evening, the first time in my life that I've done something like this, uh, but it's going to be a great experience, and we're so happy that you're here with us at the 2021 Trasimeno Music Festival, and with my dear friend Rudolf Lutz from Switzerland, we're going to give you an evening like you've never heard before. <laughs> It's always dangerous doing things with the Rudy. <laughs> yes, that's right. it's very dangerous. I know I'm in for trouble tonight. <laughs> we were going to do this in Switzerland, weren't we, last year? And then uh, the pandemic intervened, and I couldn't travel to, to Switzerland. And, uh, and, and so, but ever since then, I've been saying to Rudy, well, what are we actually going to do? And he said, well, don't worry, don't worry, you know, don't worry. <laughs> okay, half an hour ago, he, t he writes me a plan. <laughs> this is what we're going to do, see. It was uh, the problems we all had on the whole world with COVID. We had to cancel our cantatas. We do them monthly in, in the eastern part of Switzerland. And then we started with streaming, and then we had the magnificent idea to invite Angela and to say we could talk about colors, we could talk about effects, we could talk about uh, ideas of pieces in Bach, and of course, you've got the very best pianist in the world, so why should I also play piano? What I can perhaps uh, do is a bit of improvisation, spontaneous improvisation. The piece I was playing is also for you once, and it will never be in the same way. And Angela, why not start now with an extreme uh, key, like A flat major, Astor with four Bs, four flats, four, you say. Four flats, yes, A flat major. Not a, not a very usual key in Bach, but yes, I'd like to play the uh, Prelude and Fugue from Staying with the Well-Tempered Clavier, because you just heard the Prelude in D major from the second book. Um, the A-flat major Prelude um, and Fugue from the first book. Thank you. 
So Rudy, tell me, what does A flat major mean to you? <laughs> in, what, box, what no. in box music, is there any special significance or? It's very seldom. It's a, a key you don't find very much. I think of one position in the Matthew Passion. You know the Matthew Passion, I'll just play the beginning. feeling of he has to go to the cross and then he's at the cross he's nailed at the cross and everybody somehow after the terremoto the the earthquake the the, the roman capo says well that man up there he must be son of god and in that moment bach uses the a flat major and i would like to propose that i play that for you I'll try to sing the soprano, but not in the high range, of course, but that you've got an idea. Here it is. And then I would do a little improvisation on that invention of John Sebastian. Wonderful, Rudy. I love those Rachmaninoff chords there at the end. <laughs> now, fugue. You're, you're, I hear you're pretty good at 
improvising fugues, but shall I maybe play one first? I mean, we've already heard a few, but... That will be, of course, a great challenge. I think that's a fine idea. Why not take a fugue of Bach, and then I will try to take that theme and make a new fugue on it. Okay, all right. Because I was teaching 25 years, I, I, I was hard with my students and said, there's a mistake, take it in the soprano, take it in the bass, take it in the middle voice. And now I should really be capable of doing it here in this lovely place with this lovely public with my beloved Angela. Well, I've got quite a subject for you. I'm going to play the A minor fugue from book, I keep getting the books mixed up, it's book two, book two of the Well-Tempered Clavier. Uh, one of Bach's fiercest subjects, strongest subjects, it was also used by Handel in the Messiah uh, with, with, all his, with, with all his stripes. We are healed, that's right. It was a, it's, it was a well-known motive of the Baroque. But it, it's rather a ferocious fugue, and at the end, the conflict is not resolved. There, there, there are two ways of playing the last chord, major and minor, and, and I always played minor because I feel that it's, it's, it's not resolved, this conflict, you know. It, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it's triumphant, it's a triumphant ending, but not in the major way, so I keep it minor. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to play for you now, and then you can see what you do with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> In harmony class at university, when I had to write a few for harmony class, I got my father to write it. He was a wizard for you, so I couldn't do it at all. <laughs> I'll make a very soft fugue, and I will take it in another key. Lady Susan, which key would you like? D flat major. D flat major. Huh? You, you really want to know it. And what shall I do? Because it's actually a fugue in a minor key. Oh, but you want me to do it in uh, in major? I'll try my best. This is the first version, and afterwards we'll do a little a little challenge for you and for me.
You see, we want to have fun. And we always say no risk, no fun. And I asked uh, uh, Angela to conduct me. And everybody says a fugue is very strict. It's not true. You've got very strict rules in the voice leading. And perhaps the beginning, it starts with one voice, a second one comes. But you can start with the left hand, the right hand, you're free, completely free. And you could do, like Bach did in his Art of Fugue, 20 pieces on the same theme. That's the freedom of working. And so I said, you do that, you do that, you do this, you do that. And then we have fun and we had a little improvisation. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's fun. I would be a nervous wreck. <laughs> So now what, Rudy? Now we go and change the instruments. I'll go up to the loft and we will play variations. I will play variation on La Monica. That's a very well-known Italian tune. I will soon tell you what the story is. It's really horrible, lovely horrible, like stories have to be when you say, Frankie and Johnny were lovers. And then of course, Rudy two, two, three times she shoot. Through that hardwood door, he was her man. You know the story? It has to be terrible, otherwise it's not interesting. Every opera is terrible. It will be boring. Now, you will be playing Goldberg, I think. Uh, I think so. I don't know what that has to do with Frankie and Johnny, but yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going to be playing a few, I don't know which ones yet. Yes. But I'm going to play some of the gold, yeah, a few Goldberg variations because it depends on what you do, which ones I play. She will start. I'll start with the theme. I'll start with the theme. I will react on that. I will play this Monica. I'll just tell you the story. It's quickly done. The young daughter says to her mother, please don't send me to the cloister. I don't want to be a nun. And then mommy says, why not? You'll have a fine time. Then she says, no, I'm not going because the, the mother, nun, she will always scream at me. She will say, ah. So I don't want to go to the cloister. I mean, there might be other reasons why. And this is a well-known hymn in the Lutheran tradition. Von Gott will ich nicht lassen, denn ihr lässt nicht von mir. That's a parody, it's very interesting. You take a, a good song like, let it be. Yeah, da, 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 da. And you would say, oh my God, you who love me, oh my God. So I go up now and shut up. <laughs>
can't remember what's next. <laughs> you have to tell me. I oh, do. I've got my black book. You have your black book. Yeah. You can look it up. Uh, we want, wanted to talk about effect. I don't know if you know the name. I imagine you as connoisseurs of the Baroque music. It is the sort of how do I feel? Have I confidence? Am I uh, in anxiety? That was very important. And if you think this piece you just heard at the end, that is joyfulness. How would you explain this piece you just played? Uh, yeah, it's an incredible outburst of joy. Of course, we hear that at the end of the Goldberg Variations. It's number 29, uh, after we've traveled through every possible emotion before. But it's the culmination of this of this voyage before we have the final quad libet, which is like a, a, a song that they sang around the table with a lot of beer and red wine and, and, and improvised like, as Rudy does and got quite drunk. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but this is, yes, it really is a total outpouring of joy. I would like to give you a challenge. You've got a, a lot of Bach. I think you play any Bach. Could you play a piece which is hopeful, which perhaps has this confidence? You're in a situation where you say, I hope my friend will get again healthy. He's badly ill and I, I've got a lot of hope that the doctors will find the right medication. Have you got a piece? Well, there is one piece. Uh, I didn't plan on playing it tonight at all, but, um, <laughs> but you know, Bach, uh, people always tell me it's the composer that gives them the most comfort in times of trouble which you know this whole pandemic has been a very difficult time for us and people all over the world have have told me and and written me and and responded on twitter and facebook that you know my recordings of bach and that 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 has really helped them get through these times and this little prelude from the well-tempered book uh two <laughs> book to an A major, for some reason, it's a pastoral, 12-8, no, um, do, do, three, four, yeah, 12-8, and um, it reminds me of the Christmas oratorio, um, Rudy, there's one phrase in it which is from, there's a pastoral in the Christmas oratorio, isn't there, and it reminds me of that, but it, it just is a feeling of, uh, of, of peace and hopefulness, the, the spirit of Christmas, really. So let me play that for you, shall I? Thank you. 
I think it's beautifully is suitable for this effect. And um, I would like to now also do an effect, but I would like to ask a public person who would give me a, such a sentiment. It could be furious, it could be jealous, it could be very kind. Has anybody in the public the courage to give me a, a, a task? Excited. What would that be in Italian? Recitazione. Which would be the key you would like me to do it in? That's a dangerous question. <laughs> e major. Okay, so an excitement. I'm going to Trevi. I'll meet Angela. I may play with her in the concert. Okay. Angela said a very important thing. In dismal days, Johann Sebastian Bach is the great help. And he knew what death was. If you imagine, with nine, he lost his mother, then with 10, his father, lots of brothers, uncles, little children when he was a father, the little girls, three, they said, Papa to him, they died. You know how terrible it is losing children. It was usual in that time, but it was still terrible. He even lost a grandchild. Anyway, he knew what sadness is. And I would love to ask you, um, Angela, could you play us one of the saddest pieces you know from Johann Sebastian Bach? I will, I will. And it's a piece I know that you know very well because it comes from a cantata, the cantata number 127, of which the title is... Oh, no, I shouldn't have asked you. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> he's done so many of them that it gets them mixed up. Uh, okay, all right. Anyway, it's uh, this is an arrangement, and and some of you uh, have, might have heard me pl uh, play it or recording me playing it in the movie The Children Act, which we had at the festival in 2019, based on the Ian McEwan novel. It, uh, but that's an aside. But it, it's, it is one of the most 
tragic pieces, I think, of Bach. Now, this transcription done by Harold Bauer, who was a, a German pianist but who lived in America and a wonderful pianist, he put it into B-flat minor, which is sort of the epitome of a tra a, a tragic key in Bach, no Rudy, although the original is in C minor, I believe, uh, the, the cantata. Uh, but um, B-flat minor certainly suits the music. And I want Rudy to explain it afterwards because online I heard him talk about this piece and I was so moved myself. But here, this is not note for note what's in the, the original, but it's extremely close. And all the harmonies you hear, this is original Bach. And when I first found this transcription, I couldn't believe that they could be. And then I went to listen to an original and they were. These are original harmonies of Bach. So that's really amazing.
can you tell me about the musical? I'd like you to talk just a, for a few minutes about the musical portray, portrayal like of the death bells and stuff in this so that people understand what Bach is. In olden days, the death bells were very high and very, very fast. And the flutes, the, the recorder flutes, they give this feeling. And then the oboe, yeah, da, 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 da. it sounds somehow, it's so sentimental, it sounds like an Italian song. Eros Ramazzotti could have sung that with another text, but of course. But he's also got this heart full, that's why people love to listen to it. And then those incredible harmonies, and then come the soprano. I remember it was Julia Doyle from London sang that. I, we, we, just, we just sat there, we couldn't say a word. It's one of those Sternstunden, we say in German. I don't know what the word is in English. What would you say? Sternstunden, Stern. No, uh, yeah. hours of the stars. One, yeah. of, one of those magic hours. Yeah. Yeah. A magic hour, yeah. Real magic moments. And you realize that this man really knows what his sad because he was, I imagine, very sad a long time, and then he had to get up again and compose his cantata and compose his cantata. Uh, if I confess, when I'm down the dumps, I wonder what you do when you do when you're down the dumps. But when I'm down the dumps and I go and play organ and I take a beautiful piece of Johann Sebastian Bach and not even a, a sad one, da 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 dee 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 da. I've got the feeling in that piece I can get strength. When you're down the dumps, is it? Yeah, Bach certainly helps. Mozart also. Oh. Yeah, but we're but Bach, of course, to go to the piano and to be able to play, we're very fortunate that we yeah. can do that. In fact, as, in fact, I never practiced so much in my life as during this pandemic because it kept me going. You know, yeah. Uh, why don't we have? Um, I'm going to play another transcription now. Um, Wach it auf. Wach it auf. That's another effect. That's a, a joyful effect. Sometimes we'll be in heaven. The, the, um, the guards on the Zion temple are saying, jubilate, and they are singing. A lovely piece, well known for organists. It comes from a cantata. So Bach himself took a piece of his and wrote it, rewrote it for the organ. And afterwards, I think you will, you, 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 you said you might give me a, a difficult little task. Oh, I am. Going to, yes. <laughs> so please, uh, we say press thumbs, or in English we would say cross fingers. And this arrangement is by Wilhelm Kempf.
Now, Rudy, I was Googling you the other day and seeing what was on YouTube, and I came across something you did, I think, 21 years ago in Lausanne, uh, and it was based on Wacken Auf. It was called Mr. Bach Goes to New York. I didn't remember anything about it. <laughs> she sent that and said it would be nice playing something like it. It's an improvisation, so I don't know what I did. I could listen what I did. And I remember I started very seriously, and then I got a bit less seriously in, uh, in, in the course of the piece. Well, why don't Shall you I do a, that? Have a okay. second go, yeah. I'll love to do that. Okay. And it's so interesting. Organists of you played this piece, I'm sure, and you play it differently. And if you heard in the cantata, it sounds different. And it's always magic music. You can play Bach anyhow, like this, like that. It has to be done fine, of course. That's my um, experience. But it, it, something else comes out. It's like a beautiful, beautiful blossoming flower. If you take it from that side, the red roses. If you take it from the other side, it's the pink petals. And if you come uh, from the left side, you will find the, you, the lovely yellow sunflowers. Another respect comes in, and that's the magic of classic great music. I think it's, it's, it's always lovely. You can never get bored with this John Sebastian Bach. Okay, which key would you like me to play, or shall I ask the audience? I won't ask that lady. <laughs> It doesn't, why don't, well, E flat major, yeah.
envy me that I'm allowed to play with Lady Angela like that? Yeah, what a pleasure. Now, a Lady Angela had a great idea, which is quite dangerous, but we will dare to do it, because we always say, no risk, no fun, Lady. Could you explain us what you will, what you have in mind? Well, I thought at the end we should play something together, more than what we just did. And so, when I was about seven years old, my father, who was an organist, arranged the famous Toccata and Fugue in D minor for two pianos, one, two, three, four, eight hands, uh, because uh, for the whole family, my mother, my brother, myself, and my father. And we played it in the Ottawa Music Festival family group class. And so I thought, well, you know, we've got four hands here. Let's do a four hand arrangement. So I sort of took the organ score and divided it all up. You know, here it says Angela, there it says Rudy, and sometimes we're all in the middle. And so we're sort of gonna have fun with that, with this famous piece of Bach to finish with, yeah.
Well, okay, if you would like a little something, I've got an idea. And we need you. We need you. You have to sing. You know the Ave Maria from Bach. Do you know it? Guno. Uh, Angela, would you accompany us? You could play the first four bars alone. And then we start. Ave Maria. I will sing also a bit, and then, and then don't forget you have to put in that chord. There's a, a, a second chord with Mr. Mr. Guno. I think it's a genial idea to say I take a Lutheran composer like John Sebastian and put in a completely lovely Catholic hymn. I'll give you the, the cue. You can sing the la 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 la. You can also find new voices. Please stay in the harmonies, but if you aren't, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.